Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so what are we doing today? It's always something, right? But don't worry, it's going to be a great day today. Today starts day one of my seven day camping trip. So before I even uh, check into my campsite, I have to go refill my propane tank. It is completely empty, zero. And it lasted me a good three days of me using it all day and all night. So I think that's pretty good. So I got to go refill that and then we can head out. I will see you guys when I'm on my way to fill up my propane tank and we can take a look at the monitor. I'll show you what it looks like as far as it being emptied and I'll show you the process of what it looks like when I get my tank refilled. I'll see you guys in a bit. We made it. Tractor Supply Company. Let's go get this propane. Since I've been here before, I already know where to go. So for those of you who wanna know, this is be my second time filling up my propane tank and it is 3.89 a gallon. As you can see the propane right there, 3.89 a gallon. All right, let's go. And we're just gonna pull alongside here and he's gonna fill us up. All right, let's go look at the um let's go look at the uh control panel yep floor's got a little salt on it i hate to step on my shoes i forgot to show y'all when it's empty but now it's full so 4.7 gallons at three dollars and 89 cents a gallon walked out paying 19 dollars and one cent so yeah. We are here. Uh, let's go check in. Um, they have minimal staffing. Um, there are some RVers here, um, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's pretty quiet. They said they only had 37 spots, but I see more than 37 people here. So maybe these are people that have already had this in the works for a long time and what is left is 37. This is what it's looking like out my front window. I mean there's you, you can see there's a lot of RVers here and then this is out my driver's side. I have neighbors but everybody's pretty much inside and then Let's look outside the other way. And then there's just cabins and stuff, but you can see people all throughout the wooded area and things like that. I do have a fire pit and stuff next to me. So we're gonna have to find us some wood tomorrow. Now, this is the surge protector that protects my van. This box right here, uh, just in case there's too much power uh, going from this contain this surge this surge box, uh, this will protect it from blowing out all my surges. So I plug it in. Green shows that green and blue show it's ready. Everything's safe, and I am a 30 amp. That's what I have, 30 amp. Now, in here. You have to make sure that the 30 amp is plugged in, uh, uh, on. So push it up, it's on. And that's for 
this right here. I don't know what that is, but they say leave it on. Then I plug it into my van here. Everything is green, everything's a go. It's nice and secured. Now we're gonna turn on the heater. Cause I just turned on the propane. So turn on the heater. We're gonna put it at 60. Then we're gonna put it at 60. Eco. And that's it. Let's go here. Batteries look good, nice and charged, and our tank is full. So let's check and see if the heat turned on. Do you hear it? It's on, and it takes a minute for it to heat up, but it is blowing. And I always say economy, but it's eco, like I guess eco-friendly setting, and that's on. Now we're gonna go see if the laundry mat is open for usage, which I think it should be. And if the showers and bathrooms are open for usage. Let's go see, cross our fingers because I do need to do laundry. Outside showers, closed, use inside showers. They have inside showers, sweet. Laundry open 24 hours, let's see. No way. Okay, laundry is available. Yes, and it's so cheap and it's fast too. And then showers, unisex. Uh, they got restrooms, it's the women's. Okay, for campsite, not bad. And it's nice and warm in here. Oh my goodness, the bathroom's warm. It's not like cigarettes in there. And let's look at the shower. Okay, no spiders and it's warm. Yep, okay. There is the fire pit. Um, he's like, don't fall in there. Okay, well, how deep is it? But I do have a shovel. So I might try and buy some wood tomorrow so we can use that. There's our bench. But, uh, yep. Current temp in the van, 57 degrees Fahrenheit. And I got my Truma system set to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll show you here in a second. There it is, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's check the current temp outside. Current temp outside. I don't have a little thermometer, but so I have to crank up my vehicle. It'll show it on the vehicle. Current temp outside, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lot warmer than it's been over the last several days, so I'll take 25. It's not that bad. It actually feels warm out there because there is um, no wind, so it's not windy, and it's so warm in here. So I'm going to change. Get all these clothes, get comfortable, and I'll see you guys in a bit. your life in a way that doesn't even have me in it. You are in it, if you want to be. Look, I get that you're angry. What I'm gonna use is these two pita breads, guys, and this is the finished results. It's just sauteed veggies and some par grated Parmesan cheese, cayenne pepper, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder. And then I'm gonna top it off with some fire roasted hummus. So we're just gonna make little sandwiches. Let's get to making it. Got this pita bread here. Make little tacos. And then, so what we got, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do some hummus on top. Just gonna go across. And this is what we have, guys. 
a little um, pita veggie taco with uh, hummus. This is so good. Today I used butter instead of avocado oil. No reason, I just decided to use butter. This is it, guys. And that hummus. Mm -mm. If you cannot handle spice, don't get it. It's super hot. It's hot. It is spicy. <clears throat> I should have put it on the bread first before I... um. Whoo! That's touching my stomach. The lining. Woo! Take these off. I already know it's going to be a a sweaty day but it is so good guys full of flavor get your favorite veggies i like the variety pack veggies saute them with whatever you want and put it on a pita bread and you got you a nice sandwich i'm so glad i'm here i got a week of just relaxing chilling catching up on some stuff reading um how is y'all's day going as we're eating what are you eating and, and what are you doing how was your day my day was pretty hectic but in a good way <clears throat> this is gonna be a super super bite mm, it's gonna be a good bite last bite here mm. Today's day two and I'm loving it so far. I did sleep in, which I haven't done in a long time. And um, I woke up, I watched some movies, my favorite TV show, and I started my chili. So today it's just gonna be eating chili, relaxing. I have a little bit of laundry that I have to do, but I don't mind it because I love campsites and their laundry mats because laundry is cheap and you don't have to use a lot of money to dry your clothes. So that's what I love. So we'll, we're gonna do laundry today and come back and have dinner chat a little bit and then i'm gonna lay down relax watch more movies and tv shows and probably go to bed early for day two i still have five more days in the books and uh so yeah but just for day two i kind of want to i want to live today very slowly i don't want to fast pace go 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 i just want to be mellow and relax also i'm wearing a prototype of my merch so right now i'm just wearing it to see how the material feels um to to see you know how it lasts how it feels outside in the cold i am going to wash this hoodie today to see if this logo fades if it peels i want to see you know how this printing company that i'm potentially going to use to print my merch how their quality is and how long it lasts and after how many washes so i am actively working on merch that will drop next year but before i release it i want to make sure that i give you guys the best product possible so there's that give you guys another look and i'm wearing a hoodie
medium size hoodie i do have a t-shirt under and a tank top because it is cold out so there there are a couple layers under it but this i feel like is a true medium if i didn't have the tank top or the t-shirt it would i think it fit like a true uh, medium it is very comfortable notice the thick kind of um drawstrings which i like too so there's that so i'm gonna get ready I'm going to get my laundry ready. I'm going to take this hoodie off because it is going to get washed. And then I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to the laundry room. Okay, here's dinner guys chili the finished product i don't know if you can see that i don't want to spill that but this has it's packed with flavor so i went to this wine store and in light of my newfound love for horseradish sauce this was an uppity wine store i bought some wine for the camping trip but they had like assortment of cheeses chocolates and things to, that pair well with wines and i found this cheese this horseradish cheese Oh my goodness, we're going to give it a try today. And we're going to put it, we're going to try it first. And if it's good, we're going to put some inside of this chili that I just made. It says horseradish made with cow's milk, antibiotic free and grass fed. So first I'm just going to taste a little bit to see if it's good before I put it in my chili. Here we go. Okay, we're putting it in the chili. It's really nice. It tastes just like horseradish. We're gonna put little crumbles in here. I don't wanna overdo it. I don't have any sour cream. I kinda like my chili without it. But here we go, the finished results right there, guys. We got the big chunks of meat. So what did I put in it? I put in it red onions. Um, I put in red onions, I put in green, red, and yellow bell peppers, I put in um, sweet potato chunks, I love sweet potato chunks in my chili, and um, I put in Angus beef, and then you saw the chili packet that I added, oh, and I put in pinto beans, and of course, a can of tomatoes, and the first bite goes to you, have that bite. How is it? Mm. This is so good. And the horseradish cheese, game changer. I don't remember how much it cost, but it was pretty expensive, but it's worth it. Mmm. We're gonna put a little bit more cheese in here. I was really worried about the crock pot um, <clears throat> cooking, you know, how high it could get, if it could cook everything properly. And it did a good job. Um, I slow cooked everything for about five hours. It was nice, it, it, it did a great job and I'm glad I bought it. This chili is really nice and the horseradish cheese just adds a whole nother element. Mm. so real quick um we do have a lot of supporters added to the community 
as our community continues to grow, which I'm completely grateful for. But I just kind of want to explain the purpose of me eating right on camera for those of you who are new to the channel. Um, I do it because I enjoy you guys' company. It's like talking to a friend uh, during dinner. Uh, you talk about your day. You talk about what went on, how you, what's going, how you're feeling. You know, you talk about the food you make. And so I eat on camera because I want to have dinner with you guys. And I also give you guys the option if you want to have your lunch, dinner, breakfast, or snack, or with me as well, um, just for the company aspect of it. So if you, you're wondering, because I do get, I see the comments a lot, you don't have to eat your, all your food. Yeah, I do. Um, a lot of times now I really don't finish it. it. It depends on how much I make or what I eat. But most times I finish my food. We have, we have good conversations. We talk. And then other times I can't finish it, but the conversation is still good. So I'll answer a couple questions. And also too, when I have dinner with you guys, I take an opportunity not all the time, but most times answer some questions that I might have seen in the comment section that I can answer now, now that I have some, a lot of you guys watching or, and, uh, eating dinner with me. So someone asked, uh, someone asked me, how are the new tires? Um, how do they drive in the snow? Fantastic. Um, my old tires, I felt my, my van sliding. I felt like I didn't have much control of the van, but with these new tires, it drives amazing in the snow. I have control. <clears throat> what else oh people ask me can i carry us can can you carry a spare thing of propane just in case you run out while you're on the road no i can't because a propane tank is built in up under the van it's built in under the van and it's protected it's it's like protected by some metal right so it's not like i can have a spare thing of propane and say oh let me just switch it out i can't do it it's a built in so no i can't have a, a spare propane I'm finished working out and taking a shower um, I'm still at the campsite um, day three but I just wanted to go to the gym so I woke up super early 
uh, did a couple hours in the gym, got me a nice shower. Now we're out because I'm at half a tank of gas, so I'm gonna fill my tank, my gas tank up. Uh, we're gonna go try to locate some firewood and then we're gonna head back to the campsite. So I'll see you guys when I locate some firewood. So you guys after driving say. around aimlessly, I finally found some firewood. We're at Lowe's. Lowe's sells firewood, so we're gonna go grab some firewood. I hope it's not expensive. I'm only gonna get like one little bundle because I'm not trying to beat Firewood City all day. Okay, here's the firewood, $8.98. We're gonna grab this bundle right here. Let's roll. I'm eating teriyaki beef flavored stir fry Asian noodles and sauce. I've never had it, so that's what's gonna be my lunch today. Um, it was nice to go to the gym and get out. Um, got some firewood for tomorrow, fire pits full of snow, so hopefully all of that will melt up over the next couple days. First bite goes to you. How is it? For a dollar and a 70 something cents, not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Um, how's your how's your day? I hope it's good. right now what are you eating I have leftover chili I'll probably eat that later on tonight it's not a lot but it's enough I'm literally the only one out here. This is the most I've been relaxed in a long time. I don't think you guys realize how it was nerve wracking for me to get through that winter storm. Um, just trying to keep my batteries from dying. But I think by day two, I was okay because like I said, I learned um, through the manual and stuff and research that the generator charges the coach and the chase battery. Excuse me. And I also learned that I have a, a function on my control panel that um, I can set to start the generator automatically 
excuse me, when the chase and the coach battery goes below 12 volts. So that helped me. I, that's how I got through the winter. I learned how to use my generator to charge my chase and my coach battery. Consistently, so that I can always have heat and the heat never gets interrupted. I didn't, I didn't think I had it in me to do it, but I'm proud of myself. Now I know I can do it. This is what I like about camping. It's relaxing, it's soothing, and this is like real life camping where you're not really doing much but just relaxing, you know, leaving your site, doing what you gotta do, errands, working out, and then coming back. Just make sure if you ever get like a campsite like this where you're able to leave, take your hookups with you because you may come back and your hookups are gone. So I always take my hookups with me if I leave. Okay, this morning we're gonna be making breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna be making savory oats. Um, everybody makes it different. This is how I make it. I got two packs of original oatmeal. Um, it's cheap, so that's why I got it. These are cheap, effective meals that you can buy for cheap. Uh, you could do still cut oats or rolled oats. That's what people prefer to use. But like I said, I'm trying to be as cost efficient as possible, so instant oats is, is what it is two packs you can use two packs or one it's up to you um i'm gonna use two and then you want to fill it up to this fill line two-thirds is the fill line but before we do that i have a vegetable bouillon cube uh bouillon cube cube uh, forget the ashy hands. I took a shower and yeah, didn't uh, lotion up. There we go. I'm just going to throw it in here. You don't have to use cubes. You can use whatever kind of, you can use actual vegetable broth if you have it. The soup part, the soup version of it. I don't. I have the cubes. It just saves space. Okay. Then we're going to add our two thirds cup of water twice. So that's one and two since we use two packets. Then I'm going to add some slap your mama's Cajun seasoning. You can add whatever seasonings you like. It's up to you, but this is what I'm going to be adding. Um, not a lot, just a little. And then we're gonna add some garlic powder, some onion powder. No salt because the Slap Your Mama's uh, seasoning has salt in it. So we're not gonna be adding any salt. And then we're just gonna mix it really good. Make sure the cube is crushed. Mix it really good. So we're gonna put it in the microwave. I may add just a little more water because I don't like my oatmeal uh, pasty or sticky. I like it kind of a little bit like, like uh, runny, kind of like grits. Now it's done. We might have to put it in for a little more time as we do have two. Yeah, we're gonna put it in for a couple more minutes. It's almost done. We have two packs, so we do gotta do double the time. And that's what it's looking like so far. We're just gonna put it in for another couple minutes. So now we're, while we're waiting, we're gonna make a couple fried eggs.
going to check on our oatmeal. And that looks about ready to me. I don't want to cook these all the way through. So I want it to be a little bit. So that's going to be good enough. We're going to move that out the way. We're not done with this. I want to dash more water. Still too thick for me. Now, we're going to add some cheese. Throw it back in the microwave for about oh, 15 seconds. Eggs are done. We're going to mix everything up. We're gonna add our eggs. And then we're gonna add one more ingredient. I did I did the cooking portion a little different this time. I, I watched you guys through it. It won't always be like that, but there's the finished results, guys. Savory oatmeal. Um, the only thing I'll do different next time is because I didn't realize how powerful that cube was. Usually I use vegetable broth um, instead of the cube. I'll use like half a cube instead of the whole cube. So if you have cubes and you want to use it, use either a quarter of a cube or a half a cube. Don't use the whole thing. So here we go. It's cheesy, it's savory, and it's hearty. First bite goes to you. What do you think? Mm, mm, mm. This is nice. Bone broth would be even better. It looks like it's it's trying to rain outside. Um, it's very wet out. It's very muddy because the temperatures are rising and the snow is melting. So today I'm, it's an inside day for me. It's very, very muddy out. Very gray skies. Another thing. It's the first time I'm trying this on my oatmeal. Um, I'll probably omit this next time. Don't get me wrong, it's really good. But the vegetable broth with this is a little too much for me. It's still really good, but I'd rather either have the vegetable broth or this. And I think for me, I'll just do the vegetable broth as opposed to this. So, excuse me. If you're making savory oatmeal, don't use this. Just use a vegetable, beef, or chicken broth. Um, if you use the cube, like I said, a quarter or a half and then if you use the actual broth just measure out two-thirds according to the just measure it out according to the directions on the package mm, it's so good though <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. this is really good <clears throat> You can even throw vegetables in this, mushrooms. Um, you can throw meat in this. Mm. This is gonna have me full all day. It's a good breakfast to get you started. It's got your protein. The oatmeal's gonna stick to you. It's gonna keep you satiated longer. Mm, mm, mm. You don't have to use cheese if you don't want to, but cheese does. 
<laughs> so this is so good. Today is just going to be another slow day of slow living. I'm learning to kind of live slow, not tr try so fast, pace, pace, pace. And uh, I think it's just because of me working for so long, so many hours and the high stress. I don't think my body is used to not working. You know, I'm still on work mode, but I, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm calming down. Let me know in the comment box down below if you're going to try this uh, savory oatmeal. Again, tweak it to be your own. You know, you don't have to use my exact recipe, but at least, you know, now you have like a basis of what to do. Let me know if you're going to try it or try your own version of it. Mmm. I'm getting full. Mmm. I'm full. Mm -mm. That chili oil is so good. You see that bed? I'm about to get right back in it. It's a gray muggy day. I still have the firewood. I'm still going to use it. Um... But not today. It is uh, definitely a muggy day, and I think it's supposed to rain, like I said. So we're going to wait and see what the uh, weather gods decide. But I'm going to go ahead and end this camping series right here. This is a perfect way to end it. Uh, breakfast, a good chat. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your day is going well. I hope everything is okay with you. I appreciate your support more than you know. I appreciate you taking a little bit out of your day to watch my videos, commenting, sharing your stories, liking. Thank you. Our community is growing day by day, and it's it's a wonderful sight to see. Um, all of us come together. Uh, it's it's great. But nonetheless, thank you for your continued support. It means the world to me. I hope you enjoyed uh, our camping days together that we had. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and uh, doing different little things uh, each day. I hope you enjoyed the little things that we've done each day. As I know I did, but that bed is calling me. <laughs> I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.